this starts obviously with your father, Michael, and your mother, Chong, but you were a big time football player. Right, they said they called you Wayne High School's favorite son. No, that's Will Allen. You know, that's Will <laughs> Allen. That's my dog. That's my dog. You know, you go to Ohio State, you get playing BCS playoff games. You are all conference your last year. You bounce around a little bit. I think it was Bills, Texans. But in February of that off season, you go to get a physical for the Colts, and they give you a diagnosis that ends your career. Yeah. And you said at that young age. Football's not number one. It's my religion and my family. And you move on to coach under Jim Trestle as a grad assistant. It seemed from the outside looking in, coach, that you totally understood it and you grasped it and you were so grateful for everything that you'd gotten up to that point. But it feels hard to me to let that dream go. Yeah. How difficult was that for you to say, okay, now it's time to begin a new chapter of my life? I appreciate that, you know, spitting off those things, man, that's good. You know, I love the game, right? Just like we all did. You love the, the competition. You love the, actually, the unity of being a part of a team. I love that, man. I love the locker room. Again, neither of my parents went to college. And so my dreams as a young person was, man, play at the highest level, right, in college and try to go to the NFL. And sometimes those dreams stop when you, when you say NFL. And so I was able to play in two national championship games, then win them. Lost one to Florida, you know, <clears throat> and then lost one to LSU. <laughs> LSU. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. But fifth round pick, went to the NFL, and, and, you know, I got cut after training camp. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I would say is this, is that being in Chicago was the first time I was homesick. I grew up in Dayton, Ohio, which is about 50 minutes outside of Columbus, Ohio, um, went to Ohio State, and you had guys, as you, your former team, Will Allen, and some, of, some guys that I knew from high school that were there, you know, and, and man, it, it was, I was never homesick, you know, and, and then all of a sudden you go to the NFL, I got a fiance and a son, our oldest boy at the time, I'm like, man, I'm in Chicago with Brian Erlacher and Lance Briggs and, and some of these guys, man, and I'm like, this is the first time that, you know, I miss being home. Yeah. and end up getting cut and kind of was like, all right, man, we'll figure this thing out. Then I picked up by the Bills, right? And I was on practice squad and they had somebody get hurt. And I thought they, they, they gave me a call to say, coach, hey, the GM wants to see you. I'm like, I'm getting moved up to the active roster. <laughs> he said, hey, we're going to let you go. <laughs> we got we to gotta bring in a vet. And then uh, I went to Houston and that's when I was in Houston for about eight or nine weeks. And that's when I was like, okay, man, I love this. I know what it takes now. I can figure this thing out. All of a sudden, I remember being in Houston and my knee was were hurting. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know how long I'm going to play this game. And this is my third team in one year. And I called Coach Tress and said, if something happens where I can't play ball, I, I think I want to be a coach. He said, OK, play as long as you can, right? And if it, if it happens, you can come coach. So the Colts called me. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to go to Indianapolis and keep chasing this dream. And they find an enlarged heart valve. And I called Coach Tress that day, as soon as on my way back. And I said, hey, I can't play anymore. I want to get into coaching. He said, be here the next day. But I never grew up wanting to be a coach. I really thought I wanted to be an athletic director. And I was like, man, them coaches work crazy hours. As we mm -hmm. talked about, I ain't yeah. trying to do that. But I remember just being in Houston saying, I know I'm not playing right now, but I'm preparing like I'm going to play, and I love this game. And that's where I started to develop this passion for actually coaching ball. Before I end, I went, I thought it was about ball, right? Man, I want to stay by the game, near the game, and, and you know, win and, and be great on defense. And I was a GA at Ohio State, and I coached the, the drop-in position. And I remember making these tip sheets, and one of my guys made a sack in the first game. And he came over silent, we're hugging, and we're just celebrating. And at that moment, I said, that's what it's about. It's about seeing young people, helping young people have success. That's why you do it. It's not to, to be the head coach at Notre Dame, man. This is a great uh, platform for me, but man, those dudes, I love them. I love them and want to see them succeed. And so that's really what, what I gained a passion for. And coach, with the medical condition, the enlarged valve, yep. you as a high school everything, a college all everything, went to three different NFL teams. Yeah. The fourth team found out about that? I had an MRI, everything at the, the, the combine. Yeah. So we did all these tests at the combine and high school and college never found it. And then the Indianapolis Colts 
they, they, they did an EKG and they said, hey, we need you to come back and do some more tests. And, and that's when he said, look, you got an enlarged left ventricle. And he said, right now, nobody's signing guys with this because a couple guys had just died in the NFL, maybe conditioning or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. He was like, look, we're not signing you. Nobody's going to sign you. And I almost like, man, it's a sign from God, man. I just I was just at the combine, what, seven, eight, nine months earlier. And they didn't find anything. Coach, around that time, too, that was when Gaines Adams passed as well. That's right. That's Ironically, right. he was drafted by the Bears. Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. And that has to be playing as well that, you know, it is a, it is a blessing yeah. that I found out this way rather than the other way. Amen. Amen.